All right. Hi, everyone. It's Patrick, and we are back for day number three of the Cold Shower Curious Challenge Edition. Today, we're getting spiritual. I'm really excited for today's mini challenge. So I did that thing the other day where I opened the I opened up to the Bhagavad Gita just to a random page to see if there would be any you know special wisdom waiting for me. And sometimes that happens where it's like so dead on. And the other day, it was a Krishna miracle. <laughs> there was so much synchronicity because I've been planning this cold shower challenge. I've been kind of wondering like, how am I going to wrap in spirituality with all of this? Because there's no doubt that like my experience with cold has definitely gone to a spiritual level. And here in the Gita, chapter six, verse seven, Krishna says to Arjuna, Jitatmana prashantasya paramatma samatita shitoshna sukha dukeshu tatamana pamanayo. For one who has conquered the mind, the super soul is already reached, for he has attained tranquility. To such a man or woman, happiness and distress, heat and cold, honor and dishonor are all the same. So there's Krishna speaking right to me through the Gita, saying, this is how you support the people who are doing the challenge. Basically, like, how do we be in the extreme on either end of a polarity, whether that's hot or cold? So polarities are equals and opposites, happiness and distress, honor and dishonor. And how can we keep the mind in a tranquil state of equanimity, even when we find ourselves there? Because a lot of times what happens is we get into the happy state and we over-identify with the happy state, right? And that creates a little bit of illusion and misperception. Or we get caught up in the sad state and we over-identify with the emotions or the circumstances that are happening there. And take that for hot, cold, distress, happiness, honor, or dishonor. So how do we not over-identify with the experience when we're having it? right? Relate this a little bit more as sensation instead of pain, if that really is the case. And I think if you go back to the Gita, it's like, well, keep God with you in that moment. Keep your sense of source with you, that spark of divinity and light that exists inside of you and every single one of us. Keep a remembrance of it when you're in the cold. And that's basically going to be the challenge within the challenge today is I would love for you before you engage with your cold for the day, whether you're just turning the the shower faucet more to cold water, or you're actually dipping into an ice bath or whatever your version of it is, I'd love for you to set an intention before you get into the cold, say the mantra. I'll share with you the mantra that I use. You're more than welcome to use it, but know that you can also choose really any mantra that resonates with you and that you feel in your heart. So the Maha Mantra is the one that I use, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Use any mantra that is in your heart and say that mantra as many times as you can while you're in the cold. And then please share your realizations and share your results in the Habits That Heal Facebook group. Anyone who posts today, their name will be entered into a raffle And the winner of the raffle is going to win a copy of the Bhagavad Gita as it is from me. So I hope you guys enjoy the challenge. I wish you a lot of luck and grace and mercy today. Hare Krishna, and I'll see you all tomorrow.